and welcome to the Sports Beach Podcast Q&A, episode number five. Okay, so we took to our socials, we post up every week asking you guys to give us any questions, whether it be you know, personal or about us or about sport, and we um, are here to answer them. So, producer, question number one. All-time best modern era and one on the bench. Oh, so all-time best modern era rugby league team and one player on the bench. So I've written them down here. I think everyone's written their teams down. Um, what we're doing is someone players who aren't retired yet, so they're still currently playing, and we're looking at overall careers, taking away any injuries. Okay, so it doesn't matter about injuries, how injury prone they are, how good are they. One to thirteen plus one player on the bench. Uh, let's start off with fullbacks. I've got Turbo. I've got Turbo as well. James Adesco. Is there any bias? No. Uh, more premierships than Turbo. Accomplished more than Turbo. Look, it's a, it's, a fair, it's a fair argument. It is a fair yeah. argument. Though, I, though, honestly think and I honestly think he's a better player. Mm. That's the debatable. debatable. I, don't think, I think Tommy's better. I think if Tommy was at the Roosters, Tommy. he would have done probably more. Fucking Tommy. Yet to see. Okay, but well, we're not going to see it. They're not going to win a comp. Uh, next one, winger? Uh, Ryan Toto. Brian Toto. Alex Johnston. <laughs> That's a uh, left field shout, but it's a good shout. Very good shout. A lot of his, uh, a lot of his playing. Because oh, he's always do, basically, yeah, your winger. You want him to score tries. It's not really That's about. That's his job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to, to, the reason I put him in is just his meters, bro. The way he starts off sets. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's just fucking incredible. But again, yeah, wingers do score a lot of tries. That's what they're there for. Mm. Center, first center. Center Mitchell, Latrell. Oh, let's do both centers actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll do both. Let's do both because I think we're gonna have differences. I got Mitchell and Manu. I've got Latrell, Mitchell and Manu. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, Latrell, Manu. Oh, you put the troll in that? Yeah. Alright, sweet. It's still a dog. <laughs> yeah, they Manu, in my opinion, is the best center in rugby league right now. Oh yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I think no, he's the best center in rugby not. league right now. Um, and he's just so versatile. He can fill in that fullback, fill in that five eight, and he's just superstar. All around player. Yeah, if he was at any other team, he'd be playing fullback. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, remember New Zealand wants to offer him a million dollars for fullback. Yeah, to play fullback. Oh, happen. My other Next winger, winger is Adoka. I've got Adoka. Ah, uh, Tupo. That's full bias. That's not bias. You can't stand him. <laughs> there was like three years of your life where you fucking it's hated not, him. It's not bias. <laughs> that is bias. He's, he's made a gain and the tries he can score. Yeah, it's what about bias. the errors that he fucking... But every wing has errors. Come, in come, on. come on, you fucking bias. hate him. You used to hate Tupac. You, you, you wanted to kill Tupac when he got out jumped by, what's his name? Corey Thompson. He didn't get out. Oh, he did get out. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy. So that, was, that, that was before our is premiership team. Is it just the fucking Roosters 113? That's bias as well. Come on, man. All right, 5'8". Monster. 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 All right, nice. Thank God. Monster, like we've said it before on the podcast, the guy can play in any era, not just today's that day and age. He's just a fucking superstar. Halfback? Cleary. Cleary? Cleary. Okay, nice if you fucking put someone else. I'll, I'll say Cooper Kong, but we can't put him. No, no. We'll, you know what? If if, uh, if, uh, if this goes well, we'll see if we can do a, what's it called? We'll do a all-time 13. Mm, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. All yeah, right. We're going to have the same first prop, Payne House. Payne Haas? Joseph Tarpany. Do you have Haas the other yeah, prop? Yeah. Okay. Say Haas. Say Haas. <laughs> okay, Haas. Okay, come on. Yeah, no, just because, no, no, I'm like, honestly, Haas my A is Tarpany. All right. Yeah. Haas, okay, so again, Payne Haas, in my opinion, is the greatest prop to ever play the game. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, next player, we got Hooker. Happy Carousel. Harry Grant. Harry Grant. I've got him at 14, so. Yeah, but you have, I don't have Carousel. Carousel, longer, longer career. Hey, Coruscant's also got a double premiership yeah. over... Yeah, but Cook's, Cook's better than Coruscant. Mm, that's also the better. No, that's the better to me. I think Cook's better than Coruscant. You think Cook's better than Cameron Smith? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember Did he not that. say those words? I do remember that's that, it. yes. We, we digress. Keep there going. was one game, one year in Supercoach where Cook was scoring better Stop than Cameron Smith. That's all I said. To real life. Okay, so you I don't. That's all I said. I never said <laughs> he's better than him. You got Harry Grant. Who do you have? Uh, I'm not going to have one get into it. Who do you have? Grant as well? Harry Grant. Okay. Uh, that chorus has a fucking retarded shit up. Next prop. That's your opinion. Are Next you prop. Right? Fucking Tina. Are you got Tina a prop? Yeah. What? Tarpany. Tarpany? Yeah. Don't watch Raiders, man. Yeah, but yeah, Tino. You watch him, bro. You know, I was going to say, I was going to say Town Belolo, but it was a stint. That prop, yeah. He hasn't played okay. there a lot. All right. Uh, we move on to second row. This should be all the same. Um, Murray. Uh, no, I've got Kafusi as my second. Oh, we're going to give them both? Yeah. Oh, you got Kafusi, the second one. So I've got Murray and then I've got Tino in the second row because Melbourne, he played 
Second row. I've got Murray and Ryan Madison. Oh, he's too inconsistent. When he's on, he's on to me. So. Yeah, when he's on, he's on, but he's it's so inconsistent. Um, yeah, I got Tino at second row just because I think he played his best career. He played a lot of his best football at, at Melbourne, Melbourne yeah, and, your second and his first in at, <coughs> We're still popping off for the Gold Coast, but in the second row, it was a killer. Yeah. 13, this should be Isaiah. anonymous. Yo. Yo. Yep. And uh, one in. bench player. Could be anyone in any position. Who what name's Grant for me? You have Harry Grant? Yeah. Yeah, I've got Teddy. I've got Jack Warren. Yeah, only because only of his any position thing, that's why. Oh, okay, yeah. Freddy, no, no, because of any position, yeah. that's why. Yeah, but any position, like, you could pick anyone. No, like, he, he can play anywhere. Yeah, but you don't yeah. think Turbo's better than him? No, but he can play anywhere. 5A. You put him as versatile, Senna, a versatile player. Versatile player you picked. Uh, you think he's the best versatile player in the game? That's what it really comes down to. Oh, right now. Yeah, th- that's what it comes down to. Yeah, right now he is. No one I can think of right now. Yeah, I, can maybe I was thinking uh, Hines plays a half. That's yeah, it. Hines can only play. Did like, you have money in the centers? Mine and centers, yeah. Yeah, mine has to be centers. All right, yeah, so that's the that's the first question done. That's our 13 with a bench player. If you guys disagree or we miss someone out, put it down in the comment section below. Uh, producer, next question. Who do you think is a better coach, Bellamy or Robinson? Yeah, let's start with you. Okay. Well, we know his answer. Yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. Just start with you. If we're going for the past decade, Trent Robinson, but overall, Bellamy. Who's a better coach? Right now? Who's a better coach? The whole career. Who's a better coach? Yeah, probably Robinson. Oh, that's, a dumb, that's so fucking dumb, guys. <laughs> Come on, bro. I can't do this. It's like fucking by far Bellamy. Do you agree? For second best, yeah. Bellamy. Paul McGregor, number one. <laughs> So I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, Mary McGregor's a guy, but he's not a part of the question. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, the Bellamy person asked that question knew McGregor, like that wouldn't even be a competition. Yeah, no. Nah, uh, yeah, Bellamy because uh, Bellamy, Bellamy takes play, like he takes players that other clubs don't want, and he makes them superstars. And Meany. like who? Meany. Meany. Fuck, we didn't. Smith. What Bulldogs wanted him? No, we didn't. Remus we got Smith. rid of him. Remus Smith. We got rid of him. Remus uh, shit. Bro, I don't know if you remember this, Brian Norrie. <laughs> yeah, I do, bro. Brian Norrie. He was fucking shit everywhere he played. Got to Melbourne, superstar. Yeah, look at Trent Robinson. Well, Sunday was Williams. That, was there, was <laughs> it, didn't he take a Dane Nelson or whatever the fuck his name is? Yes, he was fucking. Oh no, he started there. Did he? Yeah, Dane Nelson started there. Who, give me one that <coughs> Trent Robinson's taken from shit and made him a superstar. Jackson Paulo. Kyle Flanagan. He's not a superstar. He scores a try every he's now and then. He's got a double against the Rabbits. Yeah, good on him. <laughs> no, come and on, now bro. can you take a player that has destroyed all his confidence? Kyle Flanagan. Kyle Flanagan is one of them. The Bulldogs did worse. No, no, bro, he, he gave us a shell. He was shattered before he left. Woo! Sorry, guys. The game ended. <laughs> uh, someone Bayern, scored. Bayern, Bayern scored. scored. Yeah. Nice. All right, so, yeah, man, we... Uh, Bellamy had a Bellamy. Percent. Next question, please, producer. Who is going to win Origin? Who's going to win the state New of New South Wales. New South Wales, baby. Um, if Phil Lapix picks Luai, Queensland. 100%, that's what I was going to say. Because if he picks Luai, there comes the rest of the Panther squad. Now, yeah. now we'll be honest, both our hearts say Queensland, uh, New South Wales, but our brain says Queensland. No, no, no. My, my brain says if Fitler picks Luai, we fucking lose. Which is going to happen. If he There's picks Luai, I'm telling Kryan. you now, Stephen Cryan comes into the team. I'm That's telling right, you now. Yeah, 100%. I'm telling you now, that left edge will be Panthers. That's fucked. I'm telling you. I agree. Fitler's That's fucked. Oh, no, that's yeah, so... Shit. So it all depends on Fitler. Yeah. And fuck, you couldn't have a worse coach to fucking be coaching your team. Next question, please, producer. Oh, you can, actually. What will you do? <laughs> Don't cut me off next time. Get up and hit me, Rachel. What would you do to make What's the that? NRL constantly competitive? He <laughs> 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 cut you off again. <laughs> Go with the, the question was, what would you do to make the NRL more competitive constantly? Oh, thanks, Mom. Couldn't I was the only one listening. You couldn't have said that? Respect, is Anyway, come on, Clear. <laughs> um, fuck, we'll start with you. Um, I think the NRL is already competitive. I don't think they c- there's anything you could do more to make it more competitive. Having a salary cap is there to make it competitive. The only thing you can do, and they, it's very much impossible to do with the NRL, is to be like the, yeah, relegation yeah. like the EPL. That's the only way it will be more, more consistent and more competitive. Yeah, 100%. But very hard with the NRL. You got any, anything you want to add into it? Oh, really, just. I think, no. What about no. a draft system? A draft system where, like, they do it in the AFL, they do it in all the sports in America, where 
the teams at the bottom of the ladder, right? Teams at the bottom get the of the ladder. Get the first pick of draft. Get first pick of drafts, right? So, for example, Tigers finished last last year. They'll get the first pick of the first pool, the second pick of the second pool, third pool, third pick of the third pool, fourth, and so on and so forth, right? What that is is the juniors coming up, the ones that are ready to take a step into rugby league. They're all up for. Contract. Selection. So they're yeah. not contracted with any team? No. So they're contracted for their junior team, but nothing for first grade. Nothing for first grade. So the Tigers could have gone in, for example, a few years ago if they needed a halfback, which fuck they do, except for today, Pop Pop. I mean, yesterday. yesterday yeah. um, they could have gone in and got Sam Walker as first pick. Mm-hmm. I like the idea. It, they, well, they might as well try it. They can yeah. try it. It, it would no, help it, the bottom teams. It would. It's, yeah, it's something that they've been getting talking about for a very long time, getting in the draft. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people say, what about if they don't want to play for him? Right, what if they well, want to play for opportunity him? at first grade. Yeah, well, even that, if, if not, so what they do is um, they can do, like what they do in other sports is, for example, if a player's coming off contract at that club, let's say it was it was the Roosters who wanted, um, uh, what's his name? Sam Walker. Sam Walker, right? The Roosters wanted him and Tigers had that first pick. The Roosters can get in contact with the Tigers and go, listen, you, we'll give his first dibs at, or we'll break the contract of, let's say, for example, Boyd Cordner. You just can sign Boyd Cordner, and in return, we take your first pick. Oof. Yeah. That's free. Yeah, so that's what they do. Sounds like a lot of fun, but it'll be, it a, is lot a, it'll it be is a lot of work to do. No, 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 all that fuck it. Yeah, they, right, they don't need anything more to concentrate on. Yeah. They had When we started watching it, there was a few rules, and it was pretty good to watch. <clears throat> they got to they focus on bringing out a whole new rule book every year. Yeah, it's fucked. Anyway, so, yeah, that's a few things that they can do to make it more competitive. But as I said, the... It's salary really cap, yeah, makes it really competitive. Next question, please. Moving into soccer, football, is Rashford the best of the younger generation players? Is Rashford the best of the young generation players? But yeah, Rashford's 25. Not that, not that young. I don't think he's that young. And even if he was, let's say, say he's 23, 21, no. whatever. This season, yeah, but... No, but Mbappe exists, bro. <laughs> yeah, like Mbappe is, exists. That's true. You want to go even younger, Musiala's there. You've got true. Pedri. I he's think we all agree go, that go, he, he's go, not. Gavi, yeah. He, he, he Gavi, is, yeah. he's up there, but he's not the best. No, he's very good, but he's not He's not young. I wouldn't put him as young. He's, he's a player approaching his prime, like yeah. approaching the best years of his career around 28. That's when they peak. Mm. I don't think Rashford's uh, one of the best young players. I think he's a good player, mm. but yeah, I don't think. I think there's. Would have put him as the best, and I wouldn't put him at young no, either. I think by far out of the youngsters, it's. Do you want him to take the hat off? <laughs> it's annoying. It doesn't matter where it's from. Okay, next question, please. Do you think players from Maradona's era will surpass Messi in the modern age? No. No. No, Messi is the GOAT by far. He's the greatest of all time, doesn't matter what era. And I'm sure you two will say Ronaldo, and I agree. Rena- Rena- uh, the players from... They, they Maradona's won. era, no. Except for Maradona himself, I think he's second. We've already been over this. Yeah. But yeah, no, the... They're way more better athletes nowadays. It's every right, sport. The, the more the, the sport progresses, the way the, the more the athletes change and, and adapt to the sport. Maradona's day and age wouldn't adapt to the, the sport the way no, it is it's now. Way too, it's so much faster now. Yeah. It's way more crazier. All right, uh, next question, please. Producer. Who is the next Ronaldo or similar? Who's the next Ronaldo? Aka Fenwa. <laughs> Fenwa's is a, is a tie. Um, Titi. Oof. I feel yeah, like I honestly feel like um Ganacho will go somewhere. Yeah, Nacho? I honestly feel like it. Uh, I don't know, it's a big call to make. Like I don't want to be boring and say Greenwood. Haaland or Mbappe. Greenwood. It's a, it's a big call to make. <laughs> Mbappe will be there. Yeah, but like, it, that's a boring answer. Uh, I like your answer of Ganacho. Mbappe's already accomplished a lot at his age. Yeah. So he's got the potential to get there. But like you said, it's just a boring. Answer. I don't think I don't think anyone will break Ronaldo's goal scoring record right now. Like, I think they said if Haaland was gonna do it, Haaland's on this crazy goal scoring form. He's gonna have yeah. to score sixty goals a season for the rest of his I career. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, and, no, and then no. retire at thirty five. No one's gonna break through. It's crazy his his goal scoring record. So, but yeah, but there's yeah, a, yeah. He, he's a good shout. Mbappe is up there too. Yeah, Gnacho. Mbappe is the one, but yeah, Gnacho, I reckon he's 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 got a lot of potential. Next yeah, question, Slim please. Shady. Favourite MMA fights of all time? Slim 80 fights or fighters? Fights. Favourite MMA fights of all time? Fuck no. That's big. Korean Zombie. Korean Zombie versus who? That, that brawl? That brawl, yeah. That versus was a good Leonard fight. Garcia. That was a good yeah. fight. Um, 
He's on producer nice. One of my yeah. favorite fights, you remember it, it was, you could watch it in the UFC game, UFC two. Yeah. There's two guys that just put their hands down. And they yeah, just that's Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner. That's damn. That's, that's Ultimate Fighter one. I fucking love that one. The yeah. first ever Ultimate Fighter. That was the that was the fight that put the UFC on the map. What would you say? Uh, my favorite fight of all time. My favorite fight of all time. I love, uh, you guys probably haven't seen it, but it's um, Yoshihiro Akiyama, this Japanese guy, or oh, South Korea, I can't remember what it was actually, but Asian, Asian guy, yeah. he fought Chris Lieben. Mm. And it was just fucking, it was just such a good fight. And I loved Chris Lieben. He, so, amazing fight, had everything in it takedown, stand up, everything. What about you? I can't pick one from my head. Nothing? You can't no, think of one? I can't think of one. We've, we've seen a lot of good fights we together, have, man. You have. But like the. There's heaps. Like, you, what do you want to go for? Like, just all that action. Is there like mm-hmm. moments? Like there was a fight we watched together. I think last year. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. Was there a cracker Gaethje fight last year? Yeah, Gaethje's fights are all cracker. Who was it against? Gaethje. Yeah. Khabib. Brawling. Brawling. He fought. Did he fight Michael Chandler? Chandler was it Chandler? I think it was Chandler. That was a good fight. Everything. I think it was Chandler. Have they fought? Check if Michael Chandler and. Uh, Get you four because if they have, I've completely gone blank. Why does he keep twisting his hat for? I don't know, just leave him alone. Luffy. Pick him up, bro. <laughs> Whoa, fuck, his dick came off. I know. <laughs> How the fuck did he do this? Fuck it, he's standing around his dick. Yeah, they fought Sunday, December, from November. Last year? 2021. 2021, yeah, that's yeah, the fight I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, that was a cracker fight. That was a very good yeah, fight. Really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you got like also like big moments like uh, and Silver getting knocked out. Yeah, that Otherwise was. I like when Bam Bam knocked out Derek Lewis. Yeah, that was hectic. That was so there's fight. like depends on what it is. Moments like Connor getting tapped out. Yeah, it's always good. Aldo getting knocked out. Next question, please. Oh. <laughs> and that's it for the Q and A. All right, sweet. So uh, that's done for the Q and A. Again, remember, uh, just as always, we post that once a week um, on our Instagram. And just yeah, let me fix him up. Let me fix him up. We post up on our Instagram and our TikTok. Yeah, Luffy, cock to him. Luffy come fucking into, sh- into shot. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Both together? Yeah, see. All right. Uh, we post up on our Instagram, so make sure you go follow the Instagram. It's going to be linked below. The TikTok as well. It's been popping off, so we appreciate all your support. Um, just wait for the post, give us a question, and we'll go from there. Hopefully next week we'll answer your question. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play a rugby league trivia game. Okay, so we have 20 questions. 20 questions and... What we're going to be doing is, the producer's going to ask us a question, we're going to make a noise to signal, and the producers are going to say who's answered it first. So, do you have the noise ready? No. Oh. I've had a whistle. It takes too long, that one. My lips are dry. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. No, let's do... No, bullshit. Uh, Get out of here. Boo. <laughs> do it. Boo. All right, so, noise again, do it again. Yo. Boo. Nice, all right, so, um, you're going to be hearing noises. So, if you hear this, that means you got it correct. And if you hear this, that means you got it wrong, okay? So, once you've answered incorrectly, you're out for that round. Oh, and other two can get it. Can other two get it? Okay. They get one chance to get it, okay? So, uh, let's start off first question, producer. Let's go DJ BJ. In which year did the Brisbane Broncos first play in the New South Wales Rugby League Premiership? You have 30 seconds to answer. They just buzzed in. 1992. <laughs> 1979. Well. Oh, I might as well answer. 76? Oh, it? it was in the year 1988. Oh, dude, they came after. I thought it was the year before Origin started. All right, next question. How many times have the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks won the boo. first grade premiership? Uh, I said boo. Maybe. You said he can't do that but in the middle of a question. Did you say that? Yeah. You said you can't answer in the middle of a question? You, so you, can't, you can't buzz in? Once. No. Anyway, I get it. What? Oh. Twice. What? Oh, I might as well go out there. Sharks. Three. No, they've only won one as the Sutherland Sharks. They've won. They won. have never won as the Sutherland Sharks. 
Yes, they are. Oh, it's a fucking trick question. Well, as the, the Sutherland sharks alone, it's not Cronulla sharks. Hey, she she said question. you can't make your sound in the middle of a question. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Sorry, you have bad, to wait bad. until I finish the question. Okay, and then you my can bad. Well, that's what a fucking rubbish question. Cronulla sharks have won one premiership. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a multiple choice question. <laughs> Which of the following clubs did not play in the Super League competition? Canberra Raiders, Melbourne Storms, Auckland Warriors, and the Hunter Marinas. Yeah. In the Super League competition. Yeah. Uh, Warriors. Camaraders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yeah. uh, it was between Melbourne and Canberra. I was hoping one of you would say it and then I'd get to guess the other one. Okay, next question. Who holds the record for the most tries at the state of origin? Yeah. Oh, Darius Boyd. Boo! 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 Yes! What? Are you serious? Um, uh, Greg Inglis. I don't know. I don't know. You're, you should be watching. Who said it first? Me, me. Oh, fuck. Greg Inglis. Because between the toes. What are the toes, do you know? No. It's very good. It's like one or two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How many times have the South Sydney Rabbitohs won the first boo. grade oh, premiership? Sorry, boo. 21. If, if he goes in the middle of a question, can he get disqualified for the question? Yeah. Yes. Okay, if I do it again, alright. Okay. Uh, which team did Wayne Bennett coach for the 2013 NRL season? You. Uh, Newcastle Knight. Fuck's sake. Yeah. No point for this time. What year had the most competing teams in the National Rugby League round one? Who? You. That's pretty close. 2023. Again, I'll ask the question again because it was a bit hard. What year had the most competing teams in the National Rugby League round one? I don't know, there was only 16 teams because there's a buy round. Yeah, this is the most teams there's ever been in the competition. Competing? Next, competing, yeah, there's 16 teams that played. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's thrown out there, thrown out there. 2001. Can I go again? Can I, can I say that you're very close? Can I go again? I'll show you. 1998. No, here we go, I'm wrong. Yeah, what, what was it? Super League. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, so there's two competitions. Does he get a point for that? He gets a point for it, he got it right. No, 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 because right I can't buzz in once yeah. I'm out. He got it wrong. But no one would have got it. Okay. Got so it right I don't right. get that point. I don't get that point because I was out. Who <laughs> scored the match winning try for the Sydney Roosters in their defeat of the South Sydney in round one, 2012? You. That was me. That was you. Minicella? Which Eels player debuted for the club in the 1999 round one double header at Stadium Australia? Look at Who won the State of Origin 2013? Boo! Mm. That was really, really that was close. Like... Yeah. South Wales. Boo! Because they're eight years. No, they're eight years. 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 So we went another year. 2014. So we went another year. Mm. Fuck me dead. Okay. In the 1999 Grand Final, Jamie Anscoff conceded a penalty try for a hit on which player? Boo! Really? Oh shit, I forgot. Do you know his name? Oh, fuck off. Every, no. Oh, God, really 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 good. Time would have been good. So, can you ask that question again, please? <laughs> Just to like flash at me. In the 1999 grand final, Jamie Anscoff. Conceded a penny t penalty try for a hit on which player? Do you know what game it is? Yes, it's the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, Dragon yeah. Melbourne. Oh, uh, Black Lock. No, we, we might be. But that is not correct. Who was it? Uh, we're all I, I'll give you, an, uh, because he's out now, I'll give you multiple choice. Robbie Ross, Craig Smith, what the Matt Guy, Tony Martin. You. Craig Smith. Guys, how does that work? Yeah, that's, that's not fair. No, because he if, buzzed he gets out, if he gets out, he, he, didn't, he didn't get his guess within the time limit. All right. So he's out now, so I get to give them multiple choice. I'm just going to answer them, sure. <laughs> <laughs>
The hell? Yeah, I don't okay. like that rule. Okay. Who won the Clive Churchill medal in the 2005 Grand Final? Who? 2005 Grand Final? This is why you shouldn't chime in while I'm talking. You. Should be disqualified, don't you? You. I don't like the rules of this game. You. Benji Marshall. <laughs> What's his name? The kicker. No. Pat Richards. Pat Richards. I'll give him one more to choice. Uh, see, Scott Prince. <laughs> In the 2003 Grand Final, Scott Sattler made an all-time great try saving we know the tackle. tackle on which player? I can't remember. Burn. Who it is. Burn. That is? Andrew Jones won grand finals in which seasons? There's Ooh. two. 97? 2001. <laughs> Behind Cameron Smith, who is the next most capped maroon? Bill. Billy Slater? <laughs> Corey Parker. Again? Corey Parker. I thought you meant to say it like you were right. Ah, oh, fuck. We got Darius Boyd. 10 seconds. Go Darius Boyd. I want to go Darius Boyd. Darius Boyd. Who's it? Oh, Thurston. Jonathan Thurston. Anthony Milford made his NRL debut in which position? <clears throat> that was Bill. Oh, was that Moise? I don't know. Oh, I think it was Bill. I feel like it was me. Yeah. I I it was Bill. The bench? Yes! Yeah. utility. Ivan Cleary debuted for which club? Who? Penrith? Ivan Cleary. Oh, his coaching career or his playing career? Ivan Cleary playing. debuted for which club? Playing. I'm assuming playing. Fuck. Sydney Roosters. No, yeah, Tigers. Say that again. Tigers. <laughs> 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 Who was it? Uh, Manly C. Oh, oh yeah, I was never getting that. No. Okay. Who brother. made the final tackle in the 2016 Grand Final? You. The bum. She's gonna trigger happy. Who? <laughs> Go. Michael Ennis. I remember celebrating, that's why I told you. Wade Graham. Who was it? Ricky Lutelli. Fuck, yeah, no there's way. no way anyone gets that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you got that, I was like, you searched yeah, it 100%. Definitely, definitely. Okay, okay. Oh, this is the last yeah. question. Which company makes the National Rugby League's official ball? Oh my uh, god. Steven. You're the worst. Oh, you made me sit there and think. Why was I thinking? He wins. <laughs> yesterday I asked him this question. He goes, "You didn't say the ball. You just I said, said what, what, what?" I was just going to ask trophy. I was just saying Tiffany ball. <laughs> what about she goes? What what sponsor sponsors the Steven? National Rugby League? Ball. Steven. I didn't hear ball. Steven. Everyone ball. knows the Steven. Yeah. All right. So scores. Is that the, is that the That's end? it. That was That's it. it. Coming in third place with four points on the board. Ali. Ali. Yeah, I don't know. And Moise. And the winner <laughs> with five points. Fuck, what was it? The <laughs> ball goes to Billy. What? It was four, four, four. <laughs> I'm too much, bro. I'm too much, bro. Good job. Good job, good job, good job, good job lads. So Alright, so thank you. So we wrap it up here. Play along in the comment section below. See how much you got right. Uh, and join us next week. That was a podcast. Again, socials are in the uh, description the below. Q &A. Oh, the Q&A. Sorry, q and A's in the... Uh, that's it for the Q&A, not the podcast, all right? Socials in the description below. Uh, we'll see you next week. Peace! Peace. Take to the face! Absolutely